So you've spent three to four years studying in law school, now you get a job at an international law firm. Before I'm going to tell you a day of my life as a training solicitor, I want to make clear that the task of a training solicitor really depends on the departments you are sitting in. For example, if you are in a corporate department, M&A, private equity, it is more unlikely for you to have black letter law to actually you know, research the law, the treaty, the provision. However, if you're in a department like tax uh, dispute, in that case, there are way more laws or provisions you need to deal with every single day. So in that case, you may feel like you kind of go back to law school because you always need to do research to understand provisions, to read judgment, to know the cases, etc. Which department you are sitting in already kind of affects your experience as a trainee solicitor. So every day in the morning, I wake up at 9 a.m. Uh, coming in the morning, I will first uh, check my emails because, because sometimes uh, associates or partners, they might email you uh, in the evening or at a later time of the day. Uh, however, you were not expected to read those emails when you were sleeping or when you were out of the office. So what you need to do first thing in the morning is to check all the emails. Uh, more often, they will also detail all the requirements, what you exactly need to do to give you some details of a specific case, etc. But uh, for other times, they may also ask you whether you want to have a quick check so that you may Skype them. And after checking all my emails, uh, every Monday I usually have a team call uh, with my specific team in the tax team. Because sometimes when you work in a big department, maybe tax or maybe corporate, there are way too many sub-teams in that particular department. You're not necessarily going to work with every single team. So depending on who your supervisor is, it's very likely that you will work more closely with the team of your supervisor or a more specific team or a smaller team at that particular department. Say, for me, uh, I work in a tax team. There are also corporate tax, there are also VAT tax. So, for me, I actually work more closely with the VAT team. So, that is more like a team of uh, 14 people. So, it's a relatively smaller team. So, everyone in the team call, they will talk about uh, their task this week, what would they need to do, what kind of projects they are involved in. So, it is also a really good process for a trainee like me to kind of uh, get to know uh, every single projects or cases they are working on. And I can also suggest that I may be able to help. Uh, this week. After checking my emails and after attending the team calls, I will have a better idea of what I need to do on that particular day so that I will drop down uh, the task. Maybe there are three to four tasks on that particular day and then I will prioritize whether some tasks are very important so that I need to deal with it right now. I got involved in a very massive project that has lasted for over a year now already with a bank and that project basically keeps me occupied every single day. So that every day I actually spent almost 50% or 60% of my time on that particular project. So there's a lot of things surrounding evidence gathering, a witness statement, uh, also having calls with uh, different departments in that particular bank, etc. I may need to attend a client call in the morning, say 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. This is very important because on a call we will gather information from the client to determine whether uh, the services provided will be subject to a specific VAT provision so that they may need to pay more tax. And the meeting could last for an hour or an hour and a half. So usually I help the lawyers uh, take notes on the meetings and after each meetings, I need to draw a note of meetings covering all the points or legal issues mentioned by the legal counsels or the client so that after every single meeting, we have a very detailed note in that case, I usually need to spend the coming few days and uh, maybe a few hours every day to draft that meeting notes. I need to make sure that it's uh, very detailed and extensive. At the same time, I need to include all the legal points and then present them in a very concise manner. So sometimes at around 11.30 or 12 p.m., I will have this uh, call with uh, some of the associates in the VAT team. And in that particular call, we will also talk about some uh, legal provisions that are very relevant to our department. Because as I mentioned to you before, uh, in some departments like dispute or tax, there are way more black letter law. In that case, it kind of feels like you go back to law school. So if you actually like 
law school, like reading cases, like interpreting different legal provisions and applying the law to the circumstances, that kind of thing. These departments will be more interesting to you. Personally, I think I also like the academic side of law, so that in the tax department, I actually really enjoy uh, reading those uh, cases and know the different interpretation or, of a particular provision. And sometimes in the morning or early afternoon, I will actually have uh, some calls with other trainees in my cohort, uh, a particular partner who is responsible for training de uh, development or even other junior associates in my team. Because uh, right now we're working from home, they kind of organize a lot of different virtual events to make sure that uh, you're okay or you're doing well, you have enough uh, work. I think it's very important for you to uh, have closer connection with the trainees in your team because sometimes you will get email from other associates, maybe from other teams, not the team that you're actually working with, but they may suddenly want to ask some current trainee to help with a specific research task or specific drafting task. In that case, there are so many trainees there, so that who is going to take that task? You need to have discussions. So in that case, if you already have a chat with other trainees in advance, you will know who has capacity to actually take up uh, that particular new task. In that case, uh, communication is very important so that you can make sure that no one single trainee is overwhelmed by their work. And also, you need to make sure that someone is responding to that particular associate or partner's request as well. So usually, I uh, will like have a quick lunch at 1 p.m. or 1.30, depending on how busy I am on that day. Assuming I come back at like 2 p.m., when you're a trainee solicitor, you often don't just work on one specific project. Although I mentioned earlier that uh, as I have got involved into a big litigation, uh, 50 or 60 percent of my work come from that particular litigation but in general if there's no one big project that you get involved in in that case you are actually going to work in a lot of different projects assigned by different lawyers more often than not you will feel like you get a lot of distractions here and there because it's very unlikely that you just keep working on one single task uh, for the rest of your day. You no, know, one of the busiest days I have as a trainee solicitor is when I need to constantly switch to different cases on one single day. For example, I will need to get involved also in a task uh, to get advice from local counsel. For example, there's this specific business who want to expand into other jurisdictions like Asia, Middle East, or America. I need to approach the local office of my law firms, say in uh, the US or in Asia, so that I can get their opinions on this particular uh, business plan. So in that case, I always need to email them and communicate uh, the legal issues to them so that they respond. So in that case, I need to summarize their legal advice and then to present it to the client. So I'm also kind of like the point of contact in that case. One additional thing about working in a very technical area of law like tax is that I often got asked by uh, associates of lawyers to summarize the relevant cases. So I also need to do a lot of case law research. In that case, your undergraduate law degree comes in handy because you know a lot of these platforms. Practical law, lessons, nexus you can use for your legal research and don't forget about those things if you're going to go into a more technical department like me, like tax or like dispute. I'm also responsible for organizing a bi-weekly uh, technical meeting. So basically a week before the meeting, I need to have a discussion with my supervisor. I will research all the relevant cases in the EU, in the UK for the past two weeks. So we will come up with an agenda for the meeting where some lawyers in our team will present a specific case so that they can kind of educate all the lawyers in the team what's happening uh, in the tax law. And the last thing I want to mention is about uh, how to maximize your performance or how to perform better as a trainee solicitor. Honestly, I don't have every single answer. I just started for three months. But one thing I learned as a trainee solicitor is that every time I work on a task, uh, before sending it back to the associate, I will think, how can I make the life of this associate uh, easier? Or how can I kind of exceed their expectation? Maybe I can do a little bit more. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and know a bit more about what a training solicitor does every single day. Comment down below if you have any more questions and also any suggestion for any video ideas as well. And subscribe to my channel if you find it useful. I actually recently uh, started a Cantonese channel as well about law and also my experience in the West as a foreign lawyer. 
So if you speak Cantonese or Chinese, definitely subscribe to that channel as well. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.